Good evening, everyone. Happy Tuesday night. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, after my whole talk last night about uh, getting to bed earlier, it is a little bit later than I wanted to be up tonight. But like I said last night, this is a work in progress and definitely a work in progress for me. Um, but I am still up and I have not gone live as early as I wanted to do it tonight, but I'm working on it. Um, I actually have a big health fair that uh, I am helping to run, to organize and run tomorrow. So if anybody in the Detroit area that wants to come out and learn about getting healthy from all different kinds of companies, we've got about 30 different companies that are going to be there representing. We would love to see you. Just private message me and I will tell you how to, uh, where to come and how to be there. We would love to see you. Um, so little shameless plug. Um, but I've been putting together stuff tonight. I've been on uh, our client Zooms and um, and then getting the stuff together and ready. So, you know, it's sort of backtrack of my evening. But, you know, my sleep, healthy sleep is definitely top notch. And uh, I will be heading there very soon. But I didn't want to go to bed without coming on and talking to you guys because I enjoy this time. I enjoy coming on and chatting at night um, and really just sharing some of my thoughts from the day and hopefully getting some feedback from you and the questions and the responses that I get are just, it's fun. So uh, I didn't want to go to bed without coming on since I always promise that I will. Um, but tonight I really want to talk about where do you want to be in three months from now, right? Even a month from now. Um, and so what sort of sparked this was this morning I posted, I, you know, I post a lot of transformational stories every day. I'm sure many of you guys watch them and read them and follow them. Um, I, I post a lot of transformational stories and this one, today's Victoria just really, really strikes me. And I wanted to, it got me thinking and I've really been thinking about it a lot all day. And one of the things in her story, when she talks about that, you know, in December of 2018, when she was asked, what do you want? You know, what does she want for Christmas? What does she want for the holidays? And I'm shifting this around because I want to read to you what she says. She said, all of December 2018, my husband kept asking me what I wanted for Christmas and I could not come up with anything. Finally, on December 23rd, 2018, I figured it out. I told him I wanted confidence. I wanted energy. I wanted to be happy with myself this next year. And then she needed his support. And I think that, like, she knew exactly what she wanted, right? It took her some time to figure out. It wasn't about material things that she wanted. But she wanted to find her happiness. She wanted to find her confidence, right? It wasn't about I want to lose 20 pounds, 30 pounds, right? She ended up losing a whole lot of weight. Um, but it wasn't about the weight loss. It was about where did she want to be, right? Who did she want to be in, in the future? Where did she want to go? And that's so important for us to think about and to remember. And I talk a lot about whys and knowing, you know, knowing what your why is and knowing, you know, why you want to do this, right? Because this journey, if somebody calls me and says, you know, I want to, I want to get healthy, right? Or I want to lose weight. I want to go on a diet. Most people come to me and Frankly, when I started this, this was just a diet. I needed to lose 75 pounds. Hey, Karen. Hey, Micah. Um, I needed to lose 75 pounds, right? That's where my head was. My head was, this is, this is a diet, right? It was very much a diet. But she came into it. That wasn't where she, I mean, yes, she wanted to lose weight. She, you know, she, in four months, she lost, uh, she's, what, I'm looking to see what she lost a total of. Um, and for four months, she lost 48 pounds, her total 75 pounds, because she had started losing some weight before that, right? And, and it was about weight loss, but it was about knowing what she wanted in her life and where she was going. And that is so, so, so important, right? To know where you want and know where you're going. Because if you don't know what you want and you don't know where you're going and you come in, whether it's my program or any other program, and it's just about the weight loss, and that's how many of us start. I will be completely honest. Many of us start that way. But as we take that progression through and we start to find really what's deeper inside of us, because in the beginning that weight loss, I can give you predictable transformations, right? I mean, you guys have seen the transform transformation stories that I show. I can give you predictable transformations. But the way somebody's going to really change their life, really the way the way I've been able to totally change my life, is that shifted from my brain of I just need to lose 75 pounds to wow, look at the confidence that I have. Look at the life that I've built. Look at how great I feel, the energy that I have, right? All those things. Anybody who knew me three years ago when I started this will tell you I'm a completely different person than I was three years ago. Completely different person. Um, and it's 
been life changing, right? I didn't start this knowing that I was going to change my life, but now I look at it so differently. Now I look at when I set my goals, when I set what I want, right? I look at really deep, deep down inside of me. What do I want? Right? Where do I want to go? Um, you know, it's not just about the weight loss, right? I talk, of, I've talked a lot about that. I'm on this journey to get off these last 20 pounds, right? It's not about the 20 pounds. It's not about that at all. It's about so much more. And when you're connected to that why and why you want it, and when those things become really deep whys, that's when you're going to be more successful, right? I can coach people through, like I said, I can coach people through to lose that weight. That, that's the easy part. But the, the harder part is knowing why you want it so that when things get tough, because they always get tough at some point in our lives, when things get tough, those whys are what's going to take us through, right? I was actually having a conversation tonight with a client who she, she and I have grown to be pretty close over the last year and a half. She came to me um, a year and a half ago. Um, she needed to lose 100 pounds. Um, she really needed to lose her first 30 so that she could have a medical procedure done. And she lost those first 30. She went on to lose 100 pounds in 10 months, okay? This was somebody who, first of all, had, in my entire lifetime, she's in her, she's in her mid-60s. In my entire lifetime, she had never been at a healthy weight. So, you know, and I'm 42 years old. Um, she actually said her son, who is 47, she had never been in a healthy weight in his entire lifetime, right? So... She came to me and we, she went on program and she never, ever, ever veered from program. Never, not once and lost a hundred pounds in 10 months, sailed right through. And she, you know, when she got to her goal, she said to me, she said, okay, Leslie, you know, I took her through transition and she was doing great. She was maintaining beautifully. And she said to me, she said that, you know, thank you so much. I got this now. And I said, oh, no, 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 no. I don't give up on you that easily. For anybody who's ever worked with me, you know that unless you tell me, you know, really, unless you stop answering my calls, I'm going to keep calling. And um, so, and I said, no, no, I'm, I'm still here with you, right? Because I also knew that she hadn't done some of that deeper work. Her whys were very much in the beginning medical. She needed this for medical reasons. And not that that's not a bad why. That's a great why to get started. But those whys have to be deeper. Those whys that are going to carry you longer have to be deeper. And we have to start to develop those because that's what's going to change those lifelong habits. Right? And several months after she hit her goal, some really bad stuff started going on. Her husband got a really bad medical diagnosis. A whole bunch of things just started going out of control in her life. And right, if you haven't if you haven't worked on those unhealthy habits, if you just follow what I say to eat, those things are going to come back and rear their ugly heads. They do even though like I've told you, they rear their ugly heads for me and I'm working on this constantly, right? That's just what happens. And we've been working together for the last I don't know, 6 7 months, however long it's been since all this has gone on. And we keep, you know, I still talk to her every single week and tonight, you know, we were talking and she was she, there was another bad diagnosis that came through to recently, you know, within the past week since I spoke to her last week. And she, you know, she said to me, she said, Leslie, she said, really, I don't want to bring you down. And I said, what do you mean you don't want to bring me down? And I said, that's what I'm here for, right? I'm here to be your listening ear. My coaching is not just about getting you to a healthy weight. That was one small piece. It's really about helping you develop and figure out now why you want to stay at that healthy weight right? So that you don't slip out of control and we don't, you know, in a few months from now need to put you back on program. I want you to stay there. And that's my goal. And so we started talking about all the whys, right? All the things that are going on right now in her life that are really, really, really tough and really stressful, but helping her focus and take a few minutes to stop and think for herself about why she wants it. Why is it important to her to stay healthy? Right. And so we, we, we've been talking through this and that's so important for everyone, for everyone to think about no matter where you are in your journey, whether you haven't started yet, whether you, well, everybody started their journey, you start your journey the day you're born, but whether you haven't actively started this next part, whether you're, you're thumbing it around in your head and saying, you know what, I need to make some changes. I want to get healthy. Right. Whether you're already in your journey, whether you're in the main, whether you're in, you know, your transition and your optimization mode, whether, you know, and, and trying to stay at that place. It's really, really important to know why it's important to you to be healthy, why it why you need that. Right. Because life takes over. 
We get these things. We get bad news. We get kids that act out and drive us to food. I do. Um, right? We get things that pop up and bring us into a tough time. And if that why isn't strong enough, if it's not strong enough as to why we want to stay healthy or get healthy, those things are going to control us. Those things are going to win and they're going to take over and we're going to slip back into old unhealthy habits. And that's really the key. The, you know, I've talked a lot about this with wise, you know, this is, but this is the biggest thing. And it's, it wise isn't just in physical health. I'm talking about this now because that's, that's what I talk about, but it really has everything to do with any kind of bad habits that you have. You got to know why it's important that you want to change them, right? If you're someone who struggles with finances, right? And you're really working really hard to get out of, you know, a financial trouble, you got to know why, why is that important to you? Because if it's not really important to you, if you don't, or, I mean, it's going to be important, but if you don't have a connection to why it's important, and that is your vice, right? To go shopping is your vice. And I worked with people who that's their vice, um, right? If that's your vice and you don't, under, don't know why, it's going to spin out of control again. And so that's where I really challenge you, challenge you, challenge you, challenge you to sit down and ask yourself why. Why are you doing the things that you're doing? You know, why are you trying to make changes in your life? Why do you want to be better at whatever you're trying to be better? And write those things down. Make a list. And once you make that list, look at those and ask yourself why to each one of those things. And dig deeper. Dig three, four, five levels deeper, right? Yes, Esther, you are exactly right. Your why is your life rope. It is totally your life rope. And if you don't have it, this is what I was talking about with structural tension last week or two weeks, whenever it was that I talked about structural tension. It's all the same. But it really strikes me and it really struck me when I posted Victoria's story this morning, right? That she came into this knowing her why and most of us don't. Like I said, most of us don't. But I challenge you that the earlier you can tap into your why, the earlier you can really get into that, the easier your process is going to be. And it's not easy. I'll tell you, getting healthy is not easy. Making changes, changing habits is not easy. But when, you're, when you have that, it removes so many of the of the obstacles from our life. Really, you know, it, it takes away some of the choices, right? In life, we once you make a decision for something, everything that you do either goes with that decision or doesn't go with that decision. And that decision comes when you have that strong why. So that's what I would love to challenge you to do that. If you need help digging deeper into your whys, please feel free to reach out. Um, you know, I would love to hop on a Zoom or a phone call or something and go through your whys with you and and really help push you to, to dig a little bit deeper because the deeper you can dig, the better you're going to be, the more successful you're going to be in the long run. Um, so I hope you guys have a great night. I hope this resonates. I know some of you guys are saying that, that this is helpful. Um, so please share with me your whys right? And, and if you are comfortable, share your whys in this, in the chat here so that we can all see them. Um, but cause we're all here together, right? You know, I've talked about that a lot that we lean in on each other. Um, but know your why, your why is your power. Have a great night. I am getting ready to wrap this up so I can actually get my healthy sleep. Thank you, Esther. I really appreciate that. Um, so I can get my healthy sleep because I'm working on that. That is my challenge this week to be in bed soon. And it's 1106. So soon. Um, so have a great night and I will see you guys back here tomorrow, hopefully a little bit earlier. Have a good one. Bye.